Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel once again. This is Ronald and Mr. Liam. Say hello. Hi. <laughs> okay, so anyways, uh, today we're making him some more food. I did make him some uh, potatoes already, but I wanted to show you guys the process and the procedure, which is pretty easy really. Uh, it's it's going to be a very quick video. Um, uh, Typically for us, we don't give him the potatoes just by themselves. We uh, mix it up with other things, whether it's uh, peas, uh, maybe squash or sweet potatoes. Um, so yeah, we mix it up either way. So anyways, I hope you guys are ready for this. Liam, what do you think? Yeah? Yeah? Okay, great. Okay. So I have already cut up some potatoes, as you can see, so it doesn't matter how many potatoes you cut up, but I've just did a few here with water, so I'm going to put it on, cook it, and then uh, we just mash it, and I'll show you everything else that we add into it. Let's put it on right now. And for our one of the day today, Mr. Liam here is actually right now at eight months. So basically next week is going to be, best case is nine months because it's in a few, a few days away before nine months and uh, is now actually crawling a little bit and it's very comfortable on the ground right now. Um, as you can see, crawling in my language we say o kwa vola. Again, crawling, when the baby is crawling, we say o kwa vola. Liam, can you say o kwa vola? Maybe mommy will. Mommy, you wanna say okwavla? Okwavla. Absolutely. That's what it is. Where you going? <laughs> you can't go in higher than that. Unfortunately, Mr. Liam is asleep right now, so I'm gonna have to continue without him. After your potatoes are ready, all you need to do is just drain them and just mash them like you're mashing like you mash potatoes. And what I like to do is to add in a bit of butter. I don't put in much, like that much, right there. Okay, so the other trick, by the way, I do, um, when you're making mashed potatoes, typically you put in cream or milk to kind of, you know, uh, give it that softness and when you, you mash it, it becomes nice and soft. Now, for your baby, you want it to make it also as creamy as that. Now, what we do is to actually use some formula. So this is his bottle some left of our formula right here so we use this in our mashed potatoes so you just get them over uh, cooked just like you see here so that when you mash them they are really really gets nice and mushy completely right so like that because you don't want really huge lumps although our baby has uh, now about three teeth probably um, we still don't want to give him anything with chunky so I want to make sure this is nice and smooth while we make too much of this as I said we put this in the freezer uh, in our containers as you can see we've done like say uh, other foods as well and keep mashing away just take your time with it don't rush it please you want to make sure it's nice and smooth and now next I put in a bit of formula or milk if your baby is old enough to have milk. So as you can see the smoothness, it looks like actually you making your own mash right there. See that? Now next I'm just gonna put them in our containers and basically we'll show you when he actually enjoys it. If you have used the food from the packages, the one they make for babies, that's what it turns out like. You put in usually water or whatever and then it turns out like this. Well, you could do this yourself. Honestly, just peel up some potatoes and uh, store that away if and you feel it's cheaper. it. Just like my wife just said, it's cheaper, right? Again, we bought some of these here. We bought some of those as well. So use whichever. We, I recommend that you buy these which are silicone. It's very easy to actually take food out when you push it out. I'm sorry, wait, it looks like butter. <laughs> this is the color. I know. I mean, do you hear that? Even my wife is like, from far, it looks like butter. Like, it looks amazing. Really smooth, right, babe? Yeah. Okay, 
Okay, so this one has no cover. You can just put on a, a plastic wrap like that. And it actually sticks on it really good because it's silicone, right? I put this in the freezer and I'll keep this in the fridge because we're going to be you know taking from this to serve him now. Liam just came back. Took a nap. That's why he's not so crazy smiley right now. <laughs> just woken up. But anyways, his food is ready and uh, we're going to show you how we you know when he tries it now that that has had its 10 seconds in the microwave i go ahead and add whatever's gonna go with it so today as i mentioned carrot so i'll have the ratio will be three to two so three carrots to two potato and potato is a really excellent sort of base for anything you want to feed the baby i find at least for liam this is only liam specific because it's pretty neutral and it takes on whatever flavor you want and now you go ahead and just mix this. Come here, Liam. 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 <laughs> okay, that's completely mixed. We keep it chunky just because that's the stage Liam is at right now. I'm gonna add in the smallest amount of formula here. As you can see, that's not a lot. Pre stir, and then again, another 10 seconds in the microwave final product. And he enjoys it too. Oh yeah. Anything with potato, he just eats up. Even sweet potato and potato. <laughs> he still loves that. Yeah, he loves that like crazy. Now Mia. Yeah. Like yeah. yeah, keep it going, keep it coming. I like yeah, my food. When he's like this, you just keep giving, giving, giving. Yeah. <laughs> Daddy. Yeah. Yes, Daddy. <laughs> We're so lucky Daddy's home already. Here, can't, I can't feed you if you do that. I mean, as you guys can see, he's a happy boy. He loves his food. As my wife just said, we typically mix it up with, uh, it could be carrots, it could be squash. Even green peas. Green peas. Especially green peas, because on their own, he's not the biggest fan of those. Yeah, we also do with cauliflower. Yeah. Um, I did not do a video for our carrots, but it's the same process basically we've been doing all the other stuff. But remember please, before you mix up everything, I suggest make sure your baby has maybe tried one item for at least two weeks. At least that's what our doctor told us because yeah. their body gets uh, used to it and then they can actually combine other things. Right? Also, you get an opportunity to see if maybe your baby has allergies that way. Yes. But you don't know if they do have the allergy when you combine it automatically. Or the everything together, yeah. Because right now he's actually doing, we're doing like half milk, half, uh, uh, yeah. half milk, half formula. Regular milk, like whole milk. Yes, that's what we've been told. Our I mean, doctor said to slowly introduce that into his diet now. Yeah. All right, so if you like what you've just seen right now and you want to try it out, again, the recipe is right underneath. And of course, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. And by the way, if you're new, you can all remind you my wife has a YouTube channel now and you'll be seeing more of cleaning and basket day day life, you know, uh That's same right. things out there. We'll be seeing you in the next video. <laughs> Bye now. Bye, see you next time. Oh, wow, wow, wow.